welcome back to my channel um as always i hope you are happy and healthy so today i'll be filming at my desk because we'll be talking about all things productive and essentially how i organize my whole life and how i study so for basically everything that i do i use this app called notion so for those of you who don't know notion is a all-in-one workspace where you can use a bunch of components to put together and you can build your own systems for note taking for data management um just anything you can think of really i love notion because it's super user friendly and also fully customizable even if i decide to do something now I can change that later on and it's not super hard to do that either so I've been using notion for around two to three years now and as I'll show you later I've constantly been changing it up um, to maximize my productivity I've definitely gotten a lot of inspiration from many creators you'll find that my setup is essentially a mix of other people's workspaces where I've taken like bits and bobs from other people and also personalized it to like fit my own needs but also just a disclaimer by no means am I taking any credit from other people's work I'm so so grateful that there are motion creators out there and I've definitely taken a lot of inspiration from other people but people like Chrissy Lynn, um, Janice Studies, Alia Dahl, Carla Medic and Moy Marthony um, so I definitely recommend to check out their workspaces and their tutorials because they are super super helpful to get you some inspiration and I've linked to that in my description below. So my notion is definitely still a work in progress. I am still adding things as I go, especially to do with lifestyle stuff and you'll see that later but here is my notion so far. So here is my homepage for my notion. For my homepage, I've used a template by Christy Lynn and I've just sort of customized that and added like my little icons and stuff. So in her um, template, she's included like these calendar things which is super cute so I can just change up these calendars if I go into calendars it's got the full list over here which is perfect and I can change that up every month so I have a grocery list tab where if I think of things throughout the week that I need to add onto my grocery list I'll put that on and that's just under a toggle function so if I click on this then it comes with some check boxes that I made and I can just add on anything into here so if I wanted like rice then I can add that on and it creates a checklist for me and when I do go shopping then I can just check them off as I go which is super useful I also have this budget and finance tab which I haven't filled out yet for the sake of the video but this is also um, created by Chrissy Lynn and this is sort of her layout for budget and finance and it's super helpful to keep track of big purchases later um, and also just monthly spendings and on top of that there's also the budgeting template which is copied from Notion so Notion has their own templates that you can use and I've used this one in the past which is like also pretty good because you can just add on anything here um, you can add on categories you can create your own categories and you can also put comments like maybe find a better cinema or a cheaper cinema um, and yeah you can add on your dates and you can sort your dates out um, to make sure that they are all in the correct order so it's super nice I personally like this a lot better than Excel because I just feel like it looks nicer so the next page is reflections and I haven't um, worked on that yet just because it's probably going to be a more of like a diary thing where I do daily entries and stuff like that. I just feel like having that kind of thing is really good to reflect even if you're having a very busy day. Um, yeah, I really want to get on top of that. The next thing I have under home is birthdays and I've just created like a coffee. I've got the real one underneath but I don't want to give away all of my birthday stuff. I put like my family and my friends um, and also their the dates of their birthdays and I've sorted that out into um, an order where it's like ascending. So basically what this page is for is I always like end up thinking of ideas for birthday gifts and like I guess Christmas gifts um, like throughout the year and I'm like oh I have to remember this so <laughs> I created this page where I can 
put everyone that I'm thinking of um, and I can put ideas down. Yeah, if the birthday passes, then I can just take that off and I can move on to the next one. So if I wanted to plan something out, like say I was thinking of planning a event for one of my friends, then I can just open that as a page and I can write everything that I'm planning over here or if say if I need more space than just that little column. The next thing on my home page is this monthly overview. So this is inspired by Moya Marfani. All the top tasks will go over here so in the beginning of the month when I'm thinking of everything that's going to happen um, throughout the month I'll just put them over here so say with my top task for the month then I can really easily just drag that into a certain week so this is sort of a good way to give me an overview of what um, is coming up and yeah that's also an inline calendar in here so I can also sort that out I can add in events and whatnot so that's really helpful for planning again I love how customizable it is like I love making my workspace look very appealing to me customized banners everything this is just from Pinterest um, this quote is also from Pinterest about scarcity mindset versus abundance mindset and just quotes that I like I can put that under a quote tab if I scroll down this is sort of where my weekly priorities go I sort of use this as a diary in the beginning of the week I might have things that I already need to do in the week that's coming up so I can just add that on say filming video and lab work so if I just write out my whole list over here then I can really easily just grab any one of them and put it under a certain day that I want to do it. Once I finish something, I can just cross them off. Yeah, and then at the end of the week, I can just delete everything and yeah, start a new week. Also, another thing, because of uni, um, obviously I might end up over planning for the day. Um, so say I didn't finish something over here, then I can again easily drag that to the next day. These miscellaneous pages are, again, from Chrissy Lynn. I love her layout and, and yet yeah, she's just got a 2021 memories page, the reflections page from before, a brain dump page to just write anything there. I've created my own YouTube page for planning for my videos and also just motivational things and recipes. One page I've started to use a bit more is the books and films page. This is sort of where I will keep track of all of the things that I'm reading and also things that I want to watch. So currently I've got these two books over here that I'm reading, so Principles by Ray Dalio. And what I love to do when I am reading a book is to write notes about it so that I won't like forget about some things that I've learned. I used to do that on Word, have it everywhere, have a bunch of notes about the book, but by doing a page dedicated to this, I can keep everything in one page. If I click on this, this comes up with my page and I've just put in this image. Um, also, I've changed the cover photo and as an example, I put in a quote that I like from this book. That's basically the end of the homepage. If you do like this homepage, I'll definitely put a template down below but it's very much inspired by Chrissy Lynn, so I would recommend using her template and also just building on your own stuff. So the next thing, which is my favorite page, this is my university page. Um, it is very much inspired by Janice Studies because she does amazing layouts for how she prepares for uni. I'd recommend to check her videos out as well. Over here, I've just got a brain dump page, um, which is really useful for just like, if I think of anything, I can just write that down straight Way. Then I have an assignment and exam schedule page. This needs to be updated because I've changed a course, but this is super good. Um, I did this before I started using this is how I sort of plan ahead, and it just gives me an idea of like what's coming up. Really easy to use if I wanted to add something in, so I can just choose one of my courses that I add in. So say Mizo 311, I can just say lab report due. I can choose the date that it is due, the 25th. I can also include a um, end date, I can include a time and also a reminder if I need it. And yeah, I can add any of the um, tasks. So like, for example, if it's an exam, quiz, um, important date, and also any notes that I have to keep in mind. So for this one over here, I've just put in that it's not assessed, but I should 
do it for my own learning. <laughs> After I put everything in here, it very conveniently comes up over here. So this is linked to that database. So this is upcoming due dates. So this is what's next, just below. I've just got this full calendar and it tells me exactly what is coming up and how it lines up. Yeah, I just found that this is really useful to to have so that I'm not like surprised by any due dates that are coming up. In the middle, um, I've got my weekly course schedule, the times and also rooms so I can look back at this in case I don't have my timetable on me. The next thing, I have my quick link section and this is really helpful because if I just click on that, it will take me straight to my canvas that has all of my lecture recordings or anything which is really good just in general but also especially for um, online learning because I'm like constantly having those tabs open so just being on my home page um, if I need something I can just click on that page and it'll take me straight to that um, canvas page so over here I've got my list of courses so this is what one of my course pages look like I've just got the title over here um, my instructor and course syllabus which I can put in from my canvas, um, learning objectives and also a grade calculator. I think this might have reset but this is sort of what it looks like. Oh yeah it definitely did. Um, so yeah I've just got all of the assignment um, and the exams and stuff that I've put in here and then I've just got like the due dates over here. I can put in the weighting of them and also if I put in my grade, say I got a 90%, then the weight would be 9 and then it would give me a rough sum of the GPA. And yeah, over here I could just add any notes if I want to. Yeah, so now I'm gonna move on to how I take my notes in uni and what I do to sort of stay on top of things. On my course page, I've got this whole list of the things that I'm gonna be doing in this semester. I've got my the dates along the side, the weeks, um, the topics and the titles of the lecture as well as the modules that these lectures fall under. The next column is my Anki column which is just for making my flashcards so once I finish making my flashcards for that um, particular lecture then I'll just choose it and I can choose yes or no um, yeah, depending on whether I've done it or not. My condensed notes page is what I use to signify that I have fully put everything that I can into my notes and they are a full set of completed notes or as far as I know and yeah I can use that for revising or I can move on to the next thing and work on the next set of condensed notes. This is especially helpful for when I have exams and quizzes and stuff that I can use to make sure that all of my information is there um, and I'm not missing anything out. And then the next column is just my review so I always make sure that I will do a big review of that topic either a few weeks after which I technically should have more <laughs> review tabs but yeah just making sure that I review all of that information since it's so content heavy. Over here I've got my readings and also files so anything that the lecturer has supplied so course material or um, specific readings from um, chapters of a textbook anything that I find so say clinical um, clinical studies or journal articles I can just link that directly to here and embed that so here I can upload a file or embed a link in here so just as an example I can go to the sensory neuroscience so again it's the same I essentially will open up this as a page and this is where I will take my notes. So this is a lecture on optical properties of the eye. I've got my learning objectives which I always like to write out. After I've written the learning objectives out I have a contents page and it just basically gives me an overview of every heading that I've put through and I can just skip to that if I do click on that. So these are just what my notes look like. I love how minimalistic it is and it helps me to really make sure that I am just writing down everything that is necessary in my notes. 
I can put in pictures to help me. Um, I can add captions to supplement the pictures. I can highlight and bold things that I need to. And yeah, this is just really nice. If I wanted to do bullet points, I can, or numbered list. And yeah, this is sort of how I take my notes. So these are the notes that I take during the lecture or um, as part of my pre-reading or just directly after the lecture. So after I finish this, then I will go into my textbooks and any of the readings that they provide and then I will add any extra information um, from those readings from textbook and I will really make sure that this is very condensed and has um, everything that I need in here to help me with my learning. But again with Notion there are just so many different ways that you can take your notes. For example if I go into my semester 2 page from last year this doesn't look as good as my current university page and I've got all of my topics in here if I went into sensory again I've done a huge huge overview of everything in here this is another way that I studied last year um, on sensory processing or in my semester one I did a system where I did toggle functions which is also a very useful, useful function of Notion so all you have to do is forward slash toggle and it will give you the toggle list and you can just create toggles this is just a bunch of questions that I've created myself from the lecture and I've created them in toggles where I can essentially write down the answer under each thing and also add extra toggles in between and I can use this as a way to actively study so when I'm studying I can not only use this as notes but also a way to test myself so during my reviews I can just go into here I can ask myself these questions what are the functions of the kidney then I can answer that in another page and then I can just check on that and this served as a very helpful way of active recall this is another one um, tubular reabsorption I've just got these questions, the goal of proximal tubules, um, why is this so important, what's the central role, and I can just answer that and open this up, and usually under these ones I've got extra um, toggles underneath. Yeah, just all of this information here. So yeah, that is basically how I use my Notion as of now. Um, I would definitely recommend to check out every one that I've mentioned. I've linked that in the description below. Um, and if you do want to use my template, then I have linked that down below too. You can just click on it and you can duplicate that into your own Notion and just customize that however you want. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <music>